Let's learn how to make a super easy color chart. This is a great way to get to know your colors. In this version, I'm using the eight color praying watercolor set, which is pretty common in art classrooms. What you do is you start by making a chart for yourself with squares with all the colors that you have across horizontally and vertically. It's kind of like a math chart for colors. On the bottom row, I put the purest hue of each color. So the I don't want to say the darkest, but I want to say the most color saturated view of each color on the bottom row. I'm painting every other square because I do not want my colors to blend together. I'm going to let those dry and I know this is in super speed, but I'm going to take my time when I do this and it'll look even better. On the top row, the vertical row that goes across up and down, I'm doing a light version of every color. So I'm mixing water in every single color and I do have a video about transparencies and how to make lighter versions of your colors and you can find that in the watercolor um, playlist if you need to know how to do that and what I do is I'm, I'm kind of skipping around because I don't want my colors to run together but as you can see there I'm painting the purple with the light green so essentially when this is done I'm going to have a purplish green and a greenish purple which are completely different colors so here's the violet mixed with a little bit of orange and what this does is it just gets you to really know your colors and what kind of colors you can make. If you're painting straight out of the palette and you're never mixing colors, you're not getting the full range of what you can create with even the simplest like kid color palette. You can make colors that look really professional and interesting and they don't look like beginner colors. So once you learn how to really color mix, you can make anything you want. So you can see me finishing this off. And eventually you will have every single color that you can make and you can, you know, do this in different shapes, however you want, but it starts out like a checkerboard, even like colors that you think of as neutral, like the browns and blacks have so many variations that you can use for your art that it's really fun to see what's capable. So you can see I'm finishing that and there should be kind of a version of every color. And it's okay if it gets a little messy. Make sure to label everything because even if you think you'll remember what combinations you have, you might not. And this is the finished thing. And you can go to my website and actually download this actual color chart if you don't want to make your own. If you have the Pring watercolors and it'll show you kind of a math lesson for what you can create. Have a great time creating this and maybe yours will be even less messy than mine. <laughs>